What's up y'all, Ryan here with Exodus Outdoors and today we're bringing y'all a video of how I mod my sticks. First, I'm gonna start off by showing y'all my Aider mod. This is called an Aider uh, step. Basically, it extends, extends your climbing stick to about two times the range you're gonna get before it. Um, if you don't know what a climbing stick is, this goes on the tree straps around the tree and it's how you get up into your saddle or hang on stand. Uh, this stick is the Novix mini sticks. Uh, Trophy line sells them on their website. They're 17 inches long and I want to say they're about 1.4 pounds a piece if I am correct. You've got the single steps that fold down um, but as for the aider like I said, you're gonna get about double that. It's another 17 inches. Um, when you make these, you're gonna wanna try and test it out. I have longer legs, so my aiders are a little long um, from the first step to that second one. So you're gonna wanna test it out yourself. In a little bit, I'm gonna go over how I made them, what length mine are at, and you'll just have to test them to see what length you'll cut yours to. So we're gonna go over here uh, on the, uh, don't get mad at me. We have no climbable trees around here. We have little tiny mesquites. So we're using a telephone pole. We're not gonna climb it very high. We're just gonna set the first step and I'll kind of show you how it works. Here is the stick set on the pole. Uh, here is the aider and all it does hangs down. Um, you have this little piece of radiator tube, any type of clear tube. This keeps the rope expanded so you can get your foot in there. If you don't have that, it's gonna collapse on you and it'll be real hard to get your boot in there. Uh, it hangs down. Before I had the aiders, I was able to get to about probably 14 or 15 foot and that's stretching it. That's really, really kicking your leg up there, getting cramps up the tree. Now with the aiders, I'm able to get to around 22 foot and that's comfortable for me, uh, not really stretching it out. It's, it's a really comfortable distance for my leg. So now we're gonna go inside and I'm gonna show you how to make it. We're gonna make Cora some, so I'm just gonna make one for her. For the eight or step, you're gonna want eight millimeter rope as well. You can do this with other diameter of rope. I personally like the eight because it fits in the tube of most climbing sticks. Before I had 10 millimeter and it would not fit up in here. I had to tie it on the backside of the cleats and the climbing sticks would not stack right because that rope was in the way. So this, I personally like a lot better. They all stack good. Flip these up on top of the Versa button. Um, so you're gonna need the eight millimeter rope, half inch vinyl tubing. You can use radiator hose, um, any type of rubber hose you can find. You could, like I said, this keeps it open so it doesn't fold back on itself because it's real tough to get your boot in there, especially in the dark. This helps just to keep that rope wide open for your boot. <clears throat> um, half inch works real well for the eight millimeter. You might have to test it out on different millimeters. I'm not sure uh, what else it'll fit. All you're gonna do, slide it in here, like so. You're gonna wanna do that first. Okay, burn the ends obviously. I haven't done that yet, but I'm just gonna show y'all. Then you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna do an overhand knot on top of itself. Just like that right there. There you go. That is called a one-step aider. After that, you're gonna to wanna to take these bolts out. It depends on what stick you have. On the Novix, you've got this top bolt that runs your step and your cleat on the back. You're gonna to wanna to take that one off and then you have this bottom bolt that stops your step from overextending. After you take those two off, all you're gonna do is push this up into the tube, keep it there and put the bolts back in. And then after that, you've got your one step aider. So this portion of the video, I am showing you my rope mod. Uh, this works if you have a Versa button. You're able to buy these and put them on pretty much any climbing stick. Like I said, these are the Novix Minis. Uh, you can buy them off Trophy Line's website. So right here, I have eight millimeter rope. That's very important, eight millimeter. It won't work with 10, it won't work with 11. You have to get eight. Uh, get you some good climbing rope. Don't cheap out. 
This is actually from Amazon. I'm not sure exactly which, uh, what it's called or who makes it, but it has started to fray pretty early. Uh, you don't really want to mess around with that and uh, catch a fray, maybe cut it and fall. So get you some good, decent rope. Um, I figure eight the rope up. I've just got an overhand knot on itself. I'll show you how to tie that in a second. So you're gonna to wanna to place your stick like you're climbing the tree, okay? And then you're gonna loop it over that Versa button. After that, you're gonna to wanna to wrap your rope around the tree and you're gonna come underneath this Versa button, all right? You're gonna come behind your loop, back over the front of the stick, pull it just like that. Then you can set your stick, and that is not going anywhere, guys. What I like to do, uh, just for safety purposes, tie a little overhand knot over here. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna come underneath that rope that is around the pole, straight down. That's gonna keep this over here from popping up and out from behind uh, your Versa button. Just a little, uh, quick little safety knot on the end there. So loop around Versa button around the tree, underneath, up and behind, back and across, right there. That uses friction, safety knot, little overhand knot right over here, just like that. Set your stick. Like I said, that is not going anywhere, guys. Uh, very awesome little mod. I personally like it because it takes out any hardware, any metal clinking with the cams that come with it that'll clink around in your pouch or wherever you have it. That's going to take it out. You're just going to have the rope. Also, it's going to cut out a little bit of weight. It's not a lot, but ounces equal pounds, pounds equals pain. So you take out those little bit of hardware, the little cams and the stock straps that come with it. This is just rope, so it's it's fairly light. Bunches up real well. I carry it in my side pouch right here, if you can see that. Mm -hmm. I just carry it all in my side pouch. Um, I'll take it off and I'm gonna show you how to do the little figure eight that I do. I do this figure eight when I store it because it keeps it from knotting. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take the loop, put it around your pinky. You're gonna cross in your hand Go around your thumb, cross again, back around your pinky, and you're just gonna do that over and over. Just like that. Fold on itself in the pouch, and that's it. Comes out, it's never gonna tangle on you right there. For the rope mod, you're gonna want eight foot of eight millimeter rope. That's what's worked best for me. Um, you can try it out yourself, but I've never had any problems with larger trees. I've always had a little excess, which is what you're gonna want. As for the little loop that goes over the Versa button, you're gonna take one end of the rope and you're gonna come back on itself, like so. Then you are going to come around and do just an overhand knot. Leave a little bit of tail there so it's not close to slipping out. Just like that. Just a slight overhand knot, dress it up there and that's what's gonna loop around your Versa button. Simple as that. Well guys, that is all I got for you today. Those are my two mods I run on my climbing sticks from a year and a half of trial and error. I hope that was able to help you all out, I really do. Now get back in the woods, kill a big buck, and tag us in it. We'd love to see that.